Welcome back YouTubers. Okay, so I'm going to expand on what I did in the previous video and I'm just going to run through some basic if statements. We'll also do some if and and some if or. So just to start with something nice and basic, let's take what we did before and we'll say if um, dollar sign underscore read um, is greater than say well, 30 then we want it to do something. So in this case we'll just make it give us a message box again. You can always fill in what you need to make it do. If you want to make it do a specific command, well then you know, if the criteria is true, well then this is where you put it. And we'll say um, number is larger than 30. And if it's not, then we'll make it to a message box saying number is not not larger than 30. Then we've got to end the if statement by typing end if. Okay, so let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so this is our original message box saying it's reading cell A4, which is 32, and it says that the number is larger than 30. Okay, so let's just change that and we'll make it read A8. So we'll come back up here, change that to A8, hit F5 again, it says we're reading the number 1, and the number is not larger than 30. Basic if statement um, yeah, can be quite useful. I use it quite a lot actually. Alright, so now let's just say you want to make it read a cell and say is it between two numbers. So we'll do another if. So we'll make it say if it is greater than 30. And is less than 40. Then we can have another message box. Say it's between. And if it's not, then we do another else. Let me say it's not between. In the if statement, okay, and we'll try that one. Okay, so we've made it read A5, so it's 36. So it's saying that the number is larger than 30, which it is, and it's between 30 and 40. Pretty simple. So let's make it say read A9. Next, change that again, hit F5, okay, so it's saying the number is 14, it is not larger than 30, and it's not between 30 and 40. Alright, so we'll reset that back to A5. Now, what happens if we want to say if it's one number or another number? So this is where we'll use an OR statement. So we'll say if, oops, I got that one wrong, read equals 36 or equals say 38, then Um, we'll just say it equals. Even if it doesn't equal that, it 
Oops. Does not equal. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, what did I do? Ah, forgot my bracket. Try that again. Okay, so the number is 36. It's larger than 30. It is between 30 and 40. And it equals 30 or 38. Sorry, 36 or 38. So if we change that to say A13. Hit F5 again. Okay, so it's reading 37. The number is larger than 30. It's between 30 and 40. But does not equal 36 or 38. Okay. So that's three if statements. Um, very useful. I mean, like I use these on a pretty much every single day um, for automation programs that I run all the time. Um, I've always got a set of criteria, and I find if statements are a nice way of doing it. Alright, so that's all for this video. Catch you on the flip side.